We are on week two of my new way of eating. I'm gonna tell you how it's going so far, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia. I am currently on week two of this new 45 day challenge that I am embarking on. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update and let you know how this week is going or how the week went, I should say, because I'm already in week three. So let's talk about week two. All right, week two was different than week one. Week two, gosh, it, it, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard and I'll tell you why. Week one, I came out of the gate so excited, so motivated. I, I did all of my workouts and it hurt. I was sore most of week one, but I was getting into my groove of figuring out my macros. I was eating my macros, trying to figure out maybe a meal plan or what foods I can eat that's going to help me hit my macros. So week one was a lot of discovery. Week two should have been implementing everything I learned in week one. However, week two, I was so busy with work. Like I'm talking the busiest, it, it, tax season is coming up and I have to get all my books in order for my taxes to get done with my CPA. And so it was two days, I'm not even exaggerating here, two days were about 12 to 14 hours I was sitting on that computer literally doing nothing else but working on my books. So two full days I lost. Like I, I, I stopped work to eat something, come back, continued working, stopped work. I missed, you know, kids games. I missed uh, basketball games and kickball games. I missed meetings. I missed uh, events. Like I, I literally just did not come up for air for those two days. And every day of the week last week, I had every intention of getting the workout in. Like I was like, oh man, I couldn't get it in the morning because I started working as soon as I woke up at eight o'clock in the morning. And there were nights where I didn't get to bed till two. So if I didn't get to bed till 2 a.m., I, I was exhausted. So I didn't do the workout in the evening and I woke up really early and continued working. So I couldn't get the workout in the morning. And I kept thinking, all right, well, let me start this process. And maybe during lunch, I'll go for a walk, or maybe I can do a real quick workout here and there. I just had no time. Last week, I was really disappointed with how I wasn't able to keep that momentum going in week two. Uh, I started to panic because I started going, okay, well, this throws me off because she's doing day seven of a workout or day eight. And if I miss day eight and it is now day nine or 10, am I going to go back and do day eight's workout and be thrown off? Or do I just kind of skip day eight and go to day nine? Like I was really overthinking and overstressing about this whole thing but I was like I just I'm gonna do what I can do and instead of making me stress out on what day are we I'm just gonna pick up when I can pick up and do the workouts when I can and continue moving the only thing that I was really stressed about is the macros and the cap the calories that I um kind of figured for myself was based on these workouts, right? So it's like, I can eat more because I'm doing her workouts. However, when I wasn't doing her workouts, I was still eating at that caloric level. So I was just a little worried of, you know, maybe I'm going to just maintain this week, but I'm not checking my weight anyway. Like I'm not weighing myself until the end of the 45 day challenge anyway. So it's a non-issue whether or not I maintain this week or not. Um, but starting in week three, it's going to be better that job that project I was working on is done <laughs> and I am starting back up with the workouts but I do want to show you what I ate I wasn't able to record every single day every single meal the way I did for week one but I want to kind of give you a little glimpse into what I did eat um, here and there in week two and then we will chat about the plans for week three so check it out <laughs> God, I skipped breakfast accidentally, and here we are, almost one o'clock. I'm sitting down for my first meal of the day, which I decided to make a taco salad since I had this leftover ground beef. This is a lean ground beef. I wanna say it's 96% lean. I've got shredded lettuce underneath. Let's see if you can see it. I've got some uh, tomatoes, some fat-free cheese, some balsamic vinaigrette, kind of like an Italian dressing. And my Quest chips, I'm going to mix it all up and have myself a little taco salad. I just finished my taco salad and I'm going to have a little dessert, which is going to be a protein yogurt. I have never 
had one of these Oikos Pro before. This is the strawberry, 20 grams in this uh, cup. So let's see how, let's see how we like it. All right, I don't think I planned today out well. Um, I'm gonna finish this little uh, salad that I had left over from Saturday. Now I'm just trying to like clear out my leftovers that are in the fridge. I'm gonna have some of the Spanish rice from yesterday and some of the beef fajitas as well to make like a little bowl. Mm, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with the salad first. All right, here is my dinner for today. I've got ba basically a beef rice bowl. I have like beef skirt steak left over from yesterday, some grilled onions and some Spanish rice that I made underneath. Good morning, happy Tuesday. It is 8.08 .08 and I actually woke up hungry this morning. So I made a couple of blueberry waffles. Since I woke up hungry this morning, I am gonna do two of these vans. I've never tried these, um, but I decided to pick them up when I was at the grocery store a few days ago. So I'm gonna do two of these waffles and I do have a yogurt. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this yogurt. It is pretty early, get my workout in, go for my walk. And then maybe my hunger cues will kick in at the appropriate times today because <laughs> yesterday I wasn't hungry until like noon for my first meal or I'm trying to remember when my first meal was. I think it more like, yeah, I don't think I ate until afternoon. And then um, I ate and then I got hungry again around 10 or 11 p.m. And I didn't want to eat that late because it was time for bed. Uh, but maybe today will be a different story. All right, I went ahead and added two turkey sausages to make it a complete meal and not just a really quick snack this morning. <laughs> All right, now I'm ready to eat. So I've got the two waffles, two turkey sausage patties, my yogurt ready to go, my coffee, and the waffles are topped with the sugar-free syrup. All right, it is 12.45 and I am hungry, so I'm gonna eat. Dude, I'm trying not to waste money and food. This does not look good, so I am going to make this now, even though I was supposed to have eaten this yesterday, best by yesterday. So I'm gonna pick out the brown spots and do my best for a chicken Caesar salad. All right, it is lunchtime, and I made a huge chicken Caesar salad, and then I decided that I'm gonna go ahead and make wraps out of it. So I've got two of these carb mission tortillas wraps. <laughs> All right, so it made two wraps, pretty ginormous wraps, and I still had a little bit left over. All right, for dinner, I have this protein pasta, bow tie pasta. I made kind of like a pink sauce, which is basically marinara with a little bit of Alfredo sauce mixed together. All right, I weighed out 10 grams of the shredded Parmesan cheese, and this is dinner. All right, I am ending my night with this strawberry vanilla milkshake, but it's actually a protein shake. And I've got a chocolate rice cake. This is so good, y'all. Both of these together, so good. All right, I decided to go ahead and make a protein shake this morning, even over my coffee, actually. And I'm gonna go ahead and make two of these Vans gluten-free blueberry waffles. This is the first time I've ever tried it. Um, I saw a recommendation for it, so I decided to give it a try. I'm not gluten-free right now. I mean, I guess I could explore that, but um, right now I just am trying to see what kind of fits with my day and the things that I want to eat. And so we are trying this. I actually have fresh blueberries, but I think I'm just going to do the waffles as is. So my protein shake has a cup of vanilla unsweetened almond milk. I do have two scoops of this Premier Protein. I do have two scoops of the chocolate mocha. This is what I'm talking about, the chocolate, well, peanut butter, not chocolate mocha, I was way off. Peanut butter with cocoa PV2. Two scoops of this in there and some frozen strawberries. All right, today I decided to try and make some fries in the air fryer. 
and I have a turkey burger here. All right, I am shocked on how much fries only one potato made. This is how they came out in the air fryer. I already started eating my turkey burger and uh, yeah, so far so good. All right, so this is why you should meal plan before starting your day. I thought I was gonna have these real good chicken nuggets with some jasmine rice and I entered it into my app and realized I was going way over on my carbs. So I had already started boiling the rice. So I went ahead and like reduced it so it can fit into my macros, the amount of rice I was gonna get and the amount of chicken. I am under in protein. So that is the reason why I made this big salad with some more chicken breast on it so I can try and hit my protein number for today. So basically what I have is the chicken, the jasmine rice. I made some spicy mayo with light mayo and some sriracha. I do have a Oikos Pro yogurt with 20 grams of protein to help me get to my goals. And then this just has some light Italian dressing on the salad. And here's dinner. It was hard, but I, I think I got it. I think I made it. <laughs> I finally got outside. It's been a very crazy week this week with work. I literally was not doing anything else except for sitting at my computer for like 12 hours a day for the past two days. And this is the first time that I'm outside and I'm able to take a walk. I did a couple of my exercises this week, the workouts, but not nearly as much as I could have done the last couple of days. So we are out, we're enjoying the sun. We're going for a walk. I'm a little bit out of breath because we we're playing outside before I went for a walk uh, with the kids and running around and having races and all that good stuff. So I already got my heart rate up before heading out. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, so I will say it is getting easier as far as figuring out what meals I like, what meals fit within my macros. And I think once I kind of discover my menu, what I know I like to eat and, and how to kind of group them together, and, and I'll be able to make my own meal plan and go, okay, out of all my breakfasts that I usually eat, I know that this gives me 30, 40 grams uh, if I eat it this way. You know, the egg sandwich and the potatoes with the yogurt or the waffles and the, or the protein shake or, you know, and kind of group my own meals as time goes on. Um, but I am feeling better as far as my stomach. The first two weeks when I transitioned out of keto into a completely different way of eating, my body had to adjust. My stomach had to adjust. I, I, I was miserable the first two weeks. And so a lot of my friends and family are asking me, what's it been like transitioning out of keto? Do you feel like you've gained weight? I felt like I was gaining weight towards the end of my keto journey, regardless. Even trying actively very hard to lose weight, restricting, doing my carnivore challenges, doing everything I possibly can to try to lose weight while on keto and still gaining. You know, I, I'm not... I'm not too stressed about the weight gain at this moment because I knew it was going to happen. And I kind of expected it, making that change from keto to something completely different and having my body have to adjust to eating carbs again. I knew that that might be a possibility. And also, I'm not used to working out. So now trying to get my body used to this physical activity that I'm doing, I knew that this basically, this 45-day challenge is kind of a transition transitional period from me my old way of eating and an activity to this new way of eating and activity so um the first two weeks in march before i started this challenge was probably the hardest adjustment but now that i have you know figured out the macros and figured out what i'm eating and trying to get into a groove of working out um my stomach feels 100 percent better i'm i really flipped it on its head like what i used to do with eating one meal a day and eating all protein and fat and zero carbs to now eating 
multiple meals throughout the day because I'm trying to repair my metabolism. I'm trying to eat, um, I guess, smaller, more frequent meals, more balanced meals. Um, and it's weird. It really is a mind struggle for me because for five years I've thought one way and I really have to open up my mind and accept the possibilities of learning this way as well and applying it to my daily life and not feeling judgmental about it and not feeling a certain way about it and, and just kind of and being open to the process, being open to the process and seeing what happens at the end of this. At the end of this, when I say end, I mean the 45 day challenge that I'm doing, but I'm using it as a transition to kind of move out of my old frame of thinking to the new frame of thinking. That has been a huge change for me too, because like I said in the last video, my mental struggle with like carbs were evil, sugar was evil, and eating that, I was being bad. I was really doing the diet mentality, the, the, the morality of food, being bad, being good, having a cheat day, a, you know, and, and now this new non-restrictive way of thinking has really changed things for me because before when I would have a cheat day or an off day, or if I wanted to be bad and have sushi on a day, you know, that, you know, have a non keto day and have sushi or have, you know, I don't know, pizza or whatever. It was like, okay, this is the one day that I'll, I'm allowing myself to be off keto. So let me have all the things. So for breakfast, I'm going to have pancakes. For lunch, I'm going to have pizza. For dinner, I'm going to have sushi. We better get ice cream because starting tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to have any of these things. And no matter how much I said that that wasn't how I wanted to think, it was how I thought. Every single time that I got off keto, it was a free for all because I knew I had to stay away from all of those things that I loved in order to stay the path of keto. And so this new way of eating and this new way of being <laughs> has completely shifted for me because now it's like, ah, oh, I can have that if I wanted and it doesn't feel restricted. Now, half the time I don't allow myself to have it because it's like, it's not needed. It's like, okay, I, I know if I eat ice cream at 10 o'clock at night, I'm probably gonna have a stomach ache and it's gonna throw my macros off and I'm really trying, but, I am now looking into like a Ninja Creamy. And if I want ice cream, I can make a higher protein, healthier version of ice cream, especially with the summer coming up. I was really thinking about those. The kids love popsicles and ice cream and it can get expensive buying those treats throughout the entire summer, but it's also kind of fattening. They sit around, lay around and do nothing, you know, and then they eat ice cream and junk food. So it's like, let's have healthier options, you know, and I'm trying, I'm trying to teach the kids um, this balanced way of eating as well and try to have, you know, more moving more, exercising more and eating more fruit and veggies in their diet. It, it, it's, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting the shift that the past few weeks have been already on me mentally and physically. Um, like I said, I haven't weighed or measured myself. I'll do that at the end of the 45 day challenge. But so far I have been enjoying this process. It feels good. I feel good. I feel energized. I feel healthy. I feel um, free as far as not feeling restricted. Um, I can have all the things. I can have waffles. I can have, um, I can have ice cream, I can have pizza, I can have tacos, I can have chips, I can have like all the things that I never could have before, or I had to find a keto version of before. Now um, I can, I just, ha I'm logging everything and making sure it all fits uh, within my macros while prioritizing protein. So I'm trying to hit, you know, at least 150 to 170 grams of protein per day. Um, most days I'm doing really well, I'm getting really good at it. So um, that's good for me. And so I want to continue that moving into week three. So week three, the plan is to get back into the groove that I had in week one, uh, as far as the working out and doing the workouts uh, with her on her plan and still tracking all of my macros and kind of finding my meals, my go-to meals that um, I know that when I put them together will, will give me the great macros for the day. So I think finding that groove for week three will go, will help. Um, 
trying to be consistent on getting the 10,000 steps. Now, if I go out for three 10 minute walks, if I walk around the house going up and down and all around and keeping myself busy, whatever it takes to get the 10,000 steps. So I think if I, if I make it more of a challenge for me where I'm checking out the steps, I think that will be um, good for week three as well. Just moving more, moving more, no matter what it looks like, moving more. So that is where we are. I'm sorry I couldn't give you a what I ate every single day this week, but I did what I could. It was a rough week two for me just because of work and my time constraints. But week three is gonna be better. So I thank you all for going on this journey with me. Leave me a comment, let me know. Are you on week two, week three? What are you doing right now? I'd love to hear about it. Post it in the comments below. Did you have a great week? Give me a strong emoji or thumbs up emoji to let me know how your week went. If you've not subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe but now and that, and that notification bell so you find out when all the videos are getting posted. I am posting some of my daily uh, what I ate today also on Instagram and TikTok so you can follow me there at Lydia's Journey on both of those platforms and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>